I got brides in the land, she's the dolly in the family, credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the van, legacy. Alright, hello and welcome guys, Madden Guru crew, minus his crew today, um, just making another quick short video, um, about pretty much what we're going to be looking to do is supplement our coins and cards, um, and in this video, I'm going to try to show you guys the best way now, not necessarily the only way. But the best way to not only supplement coins but cards as well and as quickly as we can so with no further ado I'm gonna show you some of you may already know this technique I'm sure anybody who is an advanced player would know exactly how to tear through these really quickly um, the only objective in these is win the game so do I need 50 points to do this no so I'm gonna run back to about the 10 and I'm just gonna lay down guys um, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna create me a lot of space and I mean if I have to throw I have to throw but my main objective um, just inch my way down the field and eat up as much clock as possible um, some of these earlier downs um, I just go right into um, no huddle gives me a run off then I'm just gonna sit here guys um, every time that you get tackled it stops the clock for a little bit anytime that you go out of bounds it stops the clock for a little bit um, not in the third but um, in the game typically right before half guys stops the clock right be after the two minutes and then fourth quarter I think it stops it the whole way through so our main goal the, the reason we want to do these as quickly as possible we don't want to be stuck on them all day um, so I haven't gone very far but that's kind of the point um, you can very well like I mean you can do it to the point where um, you just try to score as many points as you want um, it takes longer guys I promise I, I promise it takes longer the less time that you or pardon me the more time that you have the ball in your control controlling the clock keeping the numbers peeling off uh, the better and anytime you can go into a no huddle um, not a bad idea too I'm not even gonna have to snap a play I'm not going to snap the play it's first and ten um, it's just a waste of clock and then I just have to wait for more animations I have to wait to be tackled then I have to wait for the playbook and then right about the time that I would have gotten out of that and about to call another play it would have blown the whistle on me anyways so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna surely let the clock run out like I said we're trying to do these missions uh, as quickly as possible and we're trying to do as many of them as possible as quickly as possible um, we do get uh, 300 coins per star which isn't a lot but I think you're gonna get 700 coins and a power-up card now these power-up cards guys they are the ones that everybody can get but here's the key to them uh, the good ones you can only get once I had a Cal Johnson the other day you can get him in this set but here's the thing you can only get them once so most people have already done this if you can't do the power-up players kind of stinks to be you because these are quick they're easy um, and like I said all you got to do is just get down the field um, and score eventually um, I don't ever give them the ball back guys I try to use up the third and the fourth quarter all in one possession sometimes I throw a pick sometimes they get an errant fumble or some stuff but I mean mostly now see that's gonna stop the clock that's detrimental so right now I just want to get back out there I just want to get the clock running again because this is all dead time guys this clock is not ticking every second that is not ticking those are seconds and if you're doing a hundred missions those seconds turn into minutes those minutes turn into half hours those half hours turn into hours um, as a grinder I do know um, a lot of you guys may not grind or may not pay attention to your missions missions and I don't blame you if it's it, honestly like if it's not a premiere that they're doing um, or not a premiere but you know if it's not like a seasonal um, event basically guys it's I'm not gonna say it's not worth your time but it's really not worth your time 
Um, they are going to keep calling timeouts, which is fine. They'll use up their three timeouts here really quick. Um, and like I said, guys, this is why we start way back down by the 10-yard line and kneel the ball. Um, we do it so that we can dominate the clock. They're going to use their last time out here. I'm going to try to get into position for a field goal. Wow, Adrian Peterson just laid out. Okay, so there we go. And we have the game in our hand on the 9-yard line. All we have to do is not touch a button so that we can select a play. Once we get to select a play, we are, of course, going to do the easy thing here, guys. Um, no doubts in our mind. We're going to go to our special teams. We're going to bring out the field goal unit. And with just seconds on the clock, we will uh, boot it through. And now I did say I don't leave them any time. Um, you extend the kick meter all the way up. You hit X. You bring it back down. You hold X. And then, boom, there you go. That right there. Um a bunch of not a bunch of coins guys but some coins I'm gonna go right ahead and do another one this one's against the Jets you should get the ball every single time guys you should get the ball every time I've I've yet to have one where I didn't start with the ball um, and I don't mean challenges I just mean in these power-ups um, I do enjoy the downtime in Madden a little bit. It's given me some time. I don't know if anybody's noticed. It's given us time to add some intro videos and um, we're going to be working to get even further along um, and add some other cool hidden content in the videos too. Um, it's it, You got to work with us guys. It, it takes a lot of time to create this content. Um, as good as the tools are out there and as cheap as they are it's cool, but at the end of the day, it still takes time, guys. You still have to relentlessly upload, and things don't always upload the first time, so you got to do it the second time. And uh, there's a lot of work involved behind the scenes to get all that done. Um, but we do it for you. We do it for you guys. We want to be one of the best, and to be one of the best, you got to have some of the best. We already know we have the best content, guys. I mean, we already know that we got the best content out there, and it's only going to get better. Um, what you guys are going to realize in Madden 21 is that it's just an untamed beast in this house. We are always striving, playing. Um, I don't think I'm going to post very long videos anymore. I think I'm going to limit them to about 8, eight to 10 minutes is what I'm going to limit a video for. Um, and I think the main reason I'm going to do that, guys, is just because of the downloading time right now. Um, God, this AP... If you use them right, folks, I mean, I, granted, I'm playing the 76 Jets. I get that. It's not like I'm trying to talk like I'm this big, adding awesome guy. Uh, but, boy, he's fun doing them, just working in the challenges in these AI-based uh, scenarios. Um, I am getting coins for this. I am getting cards for this. Um, and it's if you do it right, guys, you can do a mission in these power-up things in about five, six minutes from loading screen to exit. Um, once again, I'm down below the clock. I don't have to say hike. If I say hike, there's that momentary pause where it holds seconds for you. And then on top of it, then you have to go into the select to play menu. And then by the time you just have, there's so many more animations. Just let the clock just drain where you can watch it just drain. Um, a lot of you are going to say, D D Madden doesn't cheat the clock. Yeah, no, I've seen them hold long, like very end of the game driving down the field i've even had it happen to me i'll admit it right now where madden extended a one or two second time just you know just because whatever reason you got that play you got it downfield and then they let you get that time out in there with like one second because that one second just held for like what seemed to be like a hundred years and you could be like you know you could tell me well that's your, just your perception it's really only one second no, I've, I've seen it take longer than a second for the last second to drop. And I'm not asking people if they've seen it. I'm telling you, I've seen it. Um, in these type of scenarios, no. Online, yes, I have. Um, but every second counts. Anytime they call a timeout, guys, you just want to get right up to the line and snap it. If the clock isn't running, we are. That's the basics of it. So here we go. Um, our auction house, once again, is full. This is part of the strategy, guys, where we're collecting cards and we're also collecting coins. Uh, the auction house hasn't popped in a minute. 
Um, basically, what I've found, guys, is that there's really no, there are surefire ways to create coins if you're out there scouring and looking and just spending obscene amounts of time um, hunting and tracing the, the dips of cards. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, even those are just one-time bangers, guys. Um, a lot of these techniques that I'm seeing out there right now, they're just one-time bangers, and all they do is, is they just, they give, the, the user who creates them, once he posts a video and 10,000 other people start doing it, the market gets saturated in that area. Um, I've noticed even in some of my coin making methods that I've posted, guys, they always work. These aren't methods that I'm just trying to sell. These are methods that I use daily, weekly, monthly, all the time for my Madden. I use them all the time. Why do I use them all the time? Because they work. I start posting them for everybody to enjoy. Um, and what I, and what ended up happening, guys, is is honestly, um, it, it really it opened up Pandora's box. Like I, I can't. I've never been deadlocked out of the market for two days like this ever. Um, and I had I've had to dig deep to find ways to continue uh, my coin um, influx, guys, so that I can keep buying packs. Um, I spent like 10, actually, since we started the channel like eight days ago, or whatever it was, guys, since we started the channel, we've spent like 15 million coins. 15 million coins we've spent. We've given away a ton of coins. The, un the unfortunate side thing is I haven't wanted to talk about it guys I've had a lot of people that they, they subscribe just for the coins and then they unsubscribe and they get the coins and then they leave um, I've had that happen a few times now we've technically had almost 20 subscribers uh, but we've had a couple drop out and you know that's just a bummer um, honestly so I'm gonna do I guess I'll do one more challenge here while we're on live and then what I'll do is well we're not on live but while we're making this video <laughs> and that's the other thing guys the videos only take six or seven minutes to create you know they, they're really not that long but then I got to download them to the network and then I got to download them to the computer and then I have to put them into the editing software then I have to edit them then I have to download them back to the desktop as a full one complete piece then once I pull that off the hard drive then I have to upload that to YouTube then I have to make sure that the private video that I loaded that was just the content is deleted before the new video goes up. Um, <clears throat> so it is quite a process. I mean, we put in a lot of work here and we're going to continue to put in a lot of work. Um, as we continue to grow, don't forget, uh, you know, we, we are we are considering the option of, of sponsorship, guys. We we have been considering it, but I think, I think more likely what I want to do is is I want to grab somebody locally who's already on YouTube that wants to cast their commercials for so much cheaper. Um, typically, you know, you got to have video growth, you got to have views. I'm not going to lie, we have that right now. I mean, for only being um, up and running for eight days, and we were doing it bare bones. I mean, uh, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I feel like I have, like, like we. Madden Guru crew, the entirety of us all, me, myself included, me, I think that we have a lot of clout and a lot of power um, already. Um, we're nearing already over a thousand views. Um, the subscribers, like I said, it's been, it's been tricky, guys, because like some people, they subscribe, then they unsubscribe once they get their coins. Um, I don't think that, it's not fair to the people that hung around um, and stayed most of you did get your coins um, I am going to do um, I'm gonna stay true to it if somebody you know still messages me about the coins guys um, we, we I, I will still stay good on that I do feel bad that that some people got cheated over that um, this Friday though guys don't forget uh, Adrian Peterson golden ticket giveaway the videos out there um, all you got to do is just check it out guys um, catch the secret word put the secret word in the subject title you subscribe to the channel like the video send the email with the with the uh, secret word guys and you are auto entered see this is what I'm talking about when I'm not paying attention picking the play right before the end of the quarter just more animations you have to go through that you wouldn't necessarily have to go through 
Um, we're still doing good here as far as it goes. We are still doing good. We are um, we have plenty of distance to work with um, as far as the clock goes to wear down clock. And once again, I'm just going to keep towering and powering away with Adrian Peterson here, guys. Um, it's been fun playing with him. I think he's better than Bo Jackson. No, I'm not. No, actually, I'm not going to say I think. I know for a fact he's better than Bo Jackson. Um, you can be entitled to your, well, you didn't put the right stuff on him. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't have anything on AP, and he's still better than any Bo Jackson that I had. I mean, we had the whole team jacked out, stacked out, guys. So that's a pretty powerful statement. You can also say, well, you're not playing anybody. No, but I have played people with Adrian Peterson, and I'm telling you, he's better than Barry Sanders. He's better than Bo Jackson. Um, one of the only... I. I didn't ever play with him, and I, I might try him next year early because he's always one of the powerful cards early. I might go with a Walter Payton or an Eric Dickerson. Um, either one of those two, I might try them early, and then in midseason shift over to a speedy back, probably a Saquon. He'll have a really super high, like 98, 99 card next year. You can bet on that, guys. Uh, Saquon's going to have a huge one. Philip Lindsay should have a really decent card next year. Um, I can't believe he didn't have a... You know, for somebody who came into the league completely undrafted in a three backfield set and still rush for a thousand yards and make a Pro Bowl, guys, this dude's not getting any love. He's one of the workhorses and the work is only going to get better. Some people can say, well, no, it's just a running opportunity. They run three backs. It's hard to contain three backs and they know who's in there. They know their running styles. Philip Lindsay makes people miss, guys. That's what it is. He makes people miss. He has speed. He makes people miss. He's agile. Um, he's everything you want in a football player, and he's hungry. And he's got a chip on his shoulder because he was overlooked and became into the league undrafted. Um, I firmly believe that he probably could have gotten Rookie of the Year had it not been for, uh, I think it was Saquon or whoever it was that year. Um, maybe, yeah, it had to have been Saquon. I think they both came in at the same year, maybe. Or maybe, maybe it was a year before that. But anyways, guys, he, you know, he had an amazing year. He really did. Or maybe it was Chubb. I don't know. It was one of those two guys that took it away from him. Um, I don't follow that closely to that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to return to the challenges here, guys. And I'm going to just show you in just this quick little video. Um, did we make like 100,000 coins? No. We didn't make many 100,000 coins. Um, there is no more of that right now. The market is so saturated and the market is so beat down that there's just no room for it. Uh, we did make 15,000 coins uh, between our auctions and our things. Uh, this was a pretty decent card even though it was in those in the um, get it for free. I checked it not too long ago. It was going for pretty decent. Guys, I was pretty impressed. Um, Pouncy, probably nothing there, guys. Um, Jordan Reed, probably nothing there. But we are going to go check these. Antonio Cromarty, probably once again, nothing there, guys. These Akeem Hicks, I already know he is worthless. All right, guys. So, but we did get we did get coins for doing them. All right. Oh wow. All right. So we we, we completed that up while we're online. Um, and like I said, there, there's another five thousand coins, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, um, seventeen, almost eighteen almost 23 and and then you open this and what does it bring you to a oh yeah a whole new uh, list Cordell he could be worth something some of these are like uh, Corey Schlesinger he's a beast even if you're not trying to sell him beast uh, power up Jason Elam one of the best kickers in the game Guys, Sean Phillips, I'm going to tell you right now, we had him. He was uh, an absolute beast. So I am going to do these ones next. I, what I am going to do before I get off this live, is, or not off this live, but off this video, guys, I'm going to jump over to the cards. And I just want to see uh, how much how much profit we got there in just that little bit of time. Um, it probably wasn't a whole lot, guys, but um, I'm interested to see this one. I'm going to wait on it. I know this is like 600 coins. Okay, 800. So that's going to be like 800 coins um, for a card that, that's way overpriced. 
two months ago the 50 cent 50 wow guys antonio cromarty okay so then and then these are guys that you can do and these these this is where you're really going to supplement i can't imagine he's worth anything so for some reason these power-ups they're still holding their value if you didn't do these what in the baloney sandwiches guys um and that was a free one i didn't pay anything for him so and then this is the one i was really interested about i knew he was selling for big last time um he was the last time i had him guys he was going for like this price up in here the like the 50 to 30 um he's still going for 8,000 coins and that's a free power up guys uh like i said a lot of you guys probably have done this and sold them a long time ago i don't ever recommend doing that i always recommend holding on to them guys i'm gonna sign off i'm gonna go do a bunch of more power up missions i'm gonna keep adding people to my auction block and i'm going to continue to supplement my coins uh once again Matt and guru crew uh deeply dearly missing his crew right now um hopefully we get them in some videos here uh you know you know how kids are man they're they're here for the fun and not the work um and that's what makes this channel special is that we we uh constitute all of that guys but once again much love from the madden guru crew here as always this is the madden guru and if the crew were here they would say goodbye to guys um but much love from our household to yours and just remember guys be nice to one another out there this is the madden guru peace